Hi friends, welcome. If this is your first time visiting, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping in. I greatly appreciate you being here. So today, before I show you today's project that I'm so excited about, I just want to say thank you. I can't believe it, but I'm getting pretty close to 10,000 subscribers. I never in my wildest dreams would have ever imagined that being the case. So thank you so much. And as a thank you, I wanted to put together a giveaway. So when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I'll announce it. And this is going to be a giveaway for one of my favorite things, which is tumblers. But instead of me making a tumbler for you, I'm going to do a giveaway with some of my favorite things, some of my favorite glitter. I'm going to put epoxy in there. I'm going to put a cup turner in there and everything that you need to get started and make your own tumbler. So uh, if you're interested in that, just keep an eye out. And as soon as I hit 10,000 subscribers, I will announce that giveaway. All right. So thank you again. Now for today's project, we are going to do an epoxy craft and it is an epoxy pitcher. And this is so cute. I am totally digging this. I've done a couple of these now. So this is the first one that I'm showing you guys, but I've done these for some other people. They're so fun and you can do whatever epoxy picture that you want on there. Now this one, I put a background in it because this particular frame has these tabs that hang down a little bit longer, you know, but I also have done them with outer frame in there. And while I'm doing this particular craft, I will be showing you one of the other ones that I did that that's just glass so you can see the difference in how it looks but i love this i love how it turned out it is so cute and you know what a fun way to do some art so if you are interested in this super fun epoxy art craft just keep watching and i will attach the video of doing it so listen, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day and I am heading out to work friends. I'll see you later. Bye. So today we are going to make a really fun picture with epoxy. Now I'll give you an idea. So the one we're doing today is not going to be anything like this, but this is one that I have done in the past to go with um, just a little outside beach thing that I had going on. So I think they're really cute. So we're going to make one in this frame. So you can get frames from, you know, the Dollar Tree, from wherever. I really like to um, also buy frames from like Hobby Lobby and Michaels and stuff that are a little bit more high end that are on clearance. So like this one, um, I bought this from Hobby Lobby and the clearance price was $4.99, but then it was an additional 60% <coughs> off. So I only paid like $2 for this really nice high end frame. And um, the glass is nice and thick. The outside is metal. Now, I'm gonna keep it pink for the moment. I may change my mind and go back and paint it, which I can always do that if I want to. Right now, I think I'm gonna keep it pink. So I'm gonna just take everything off of it. And I like to save the inside pieces that I don't necessarily need. That's just sort of, you know, what I like to do. Now, I am going to spray this down. Now, there's a couple options with this. What I'm going to do today, we're going to just 
keep you know this as glass but you can also go in and like you could whatever the picture you're doing you could put a background on this and you know put it back in which I may end up deciding to do after. We'll see how our picture turns out and then I'll make the decision on whether or not I wanna do that. Cause this one is a little bit looser and you know, actually I'm gonna do this one outside of the frame. I usually do it in the frame just to make sure that it'll still fit, but this is so loose, I'm gonna do it outside of the frame. So let me just quit being like me, but I get way too much stuff going on my crafting table at one time. Now, I went ahead and drew a heart, which is what I want on here so that I have an outline to go with. You don't have to do that. That is completely up to you. And I'm going to do, I'm going to be doing my picture with these, um, I got these little um gold balls or silver balls here i've got some blue rock and i've got some purple like sand um, all of these little um, embellishments are from the dollar tree Um, I might put some gold leaf. I've got some Epsom salt and um, yeah, we'll just see what, you know, see what we want on it. Now I have my epoxy mixing. I'm using Promarine epoxy and it will um, be a one-to-one -one mix and it's mixing for four minutes and it should be just about done. So we're going to grab it. All right, so I have my epoxy. I don't need a lot. I probably actually have more than I need, to be honest. And I'm going to just put my epoxy on my glass, kind of in the center. And then this little spatula, you can get these on Amazon, but you can also get these at the Dollar Tree in the makeup aisle and um, they work really really well they're the exact same whether you get them at the dollar tree or whether you get them on amazon you know sometimes they come like if you buy kits they'll come in you know different little kits and i'm just making sure that i have everything covered evenly Like I said, you know, it's up to you. You could freeform, you know, this or, you know, whatever it is that you want to do. I definitely made too much epoxy. But I'm doing it with this heart underneath it so that I can show you that you, you know, you don't have to worry if you're afraid that you can't, like, sprinkle it in the right place, you know? All right, so I'm going to start... I'm going to start with my blue.
There we go. And I guess, I mean, you could do that from the beginning. Just got to make sure. So now I'm going to take some of this I have left. I'm just going to go over it a little bit. Not a lot. I just want to make sure everything is under epoxy. I don't, I'm not necessarily looking to make it like smooth because I want it to be a raised pitcher. I just want to make sure everything's down. not going to fall off. All right, I'm going to quickly do something else with this little bit of epoxy I have left. And we're going to let this dry and then we'll be back. All right, so here is my pitcher, and I really like the way it turned out. The humidity is so bad, that's why it looks a little foggy through here. That's just humidity. But this turned out really, really nice. Now, you could put, now this one, the little pieces are a little bit, you know, bigger so if I were to put the tabs back and you can see I ended up you know painting this I just did a light gray and the let the pink sort of come through so that it's a little bit of a light pink kind of color so you could put it this way now the this one see the tabs are sort of big so you would be able to see them so if you're gonna do just your glass I would use like either one that the glass and frames already attached to it or one with smaller frames and then now the other thing is you can do a background and with this one i think i'm going to do a background and i want to use these little flamingos we'll see how you know how that turns out but this is really 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 cute so i i love the idea of this and i showed you when we first started the one with the shells and that one was attached let me see so this one this was a dollar tree had a saying in there and i took that off with um fingernail polish remover and see this is just already attached so and then you can do anything you know anything that you want there was a mosquito in there not in the resin it just happened to lay on it and die um, yeah, so you see what I'm saying to that. All right, so, and then on this one, like I said, I, I want to do a back on it. So I'm going to use, I feel like this flamingo paper will be cute. We'll see. You know, but again, you do your picture any way that you would like to do it. And I'm just gonna put um, my frame up here on the end. Use my cutter. Trying to cut straight, oh my goodness, you would think. that I've never done this before the way I'm cutting. This little one here is from the Dollar Tree. It's not, it's really good for paper. It's not great on um, material, depending on what material that you use, but it's really good for paper. Okay. 
I did not do a great job. So put this back in and again, of course, you're going to do any picture, any frame that you want. I just wanted to show you how cute doing res resin pictures like this it, um, can be. Oh, yeah, that's really cute. So and here's how it turned out. So, yeah, super cute. Love it. All right, listen, friends, I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day. If you like it, please give it a big thumbs up, and I will see you later. Bye.